What's up guys, Added here, and welcome back to another long-awaited ESP tutorial. So I finally got to make it after three weeks of not being able to use my PC at all, for those of you who don't follow my Twitter, for the others you have known already. Anyways, I'm happy to do this tutorial finally, so I get that off my list. And yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So. First of all, we want to look at the information we need to draw ESP. And regardless of whether we are using DirectX or OpenGL, and if we are internal or not, if we are hooking the engine, I mean, uh, or we are drawing on a panel or something like a panel, and what we need exactly is the player information, which is simply position X, Y, Z in the game. Uh, probably help for something like a health bar or something like that or not displaying dead bodies and also team to decide whether we want to display team members or enemies only and another thing which is the perspective projection matrix which consists of yeah but it's basically a 4x4 four four matrix consists of 16 members uh, what it exactly is, we'll get to that in a second. Um, it's used by 3D games, I think it's a must use. Not sure I'm not a game developer, probably game developers can tell me better if it's a must use in a 3D game or not. But it's used to convert what you see in the game, in the 3D world of the game, uh, to your screen, basically we have X, Y, Z in the 3D game and on the screen we only have X, Y. So how do we project it with an X aspect ratio with the best possible representation? So the perspective... Okay, I wrote perspective... And anyways, pers <laughs> the perspective projection matrix transform vertices from the world space to our view space. The view space, the screen, the world space, the 3D world in the game. And this is what it basically looks like. So we have four columns, one is for right, the next one is for up and forward and position. So what we do with it, we do a mathematical... It's not something uh, found out by game hacking, so not in the game hacking process, it's actually used in the game to project something on your screen. So when you're reading a book about, and that's why I said it's uh, quite clever to read a book on game development, um, this is what you find in there, perspective uh, projection matrix, with the following calculation. So as we have on our screen only X and Y, um, we need an X on our screen, this will be basically X apostrophe, which is the point X on our screen. So it's equal to right X times origin X, and origin is the point, like player position, a point in the game. So the origin X, um, adding to it right Y times origin Y, repeating that with the z-coordinate and adding to it right w. Next one we follow up with y apostrophe, do about the same thing just with the ups. Uh, we don't need the z, therefore we leave the forwards uh, out. And then we also need a w apostrophe doing with the uh, last column, the same equation with the last column. Uh, the same calculation, sorry. And now we can check if w is greater than zero, then we can see the object, then it's basically displayable in our view space on our screen if it's zero or below, if it can be below, uh, then it's invisible on our screen. And the next step is inversing w uh, apostrophe and this is a mistake on these sheets, these slides. Uh, it should be double, W apostrophe, um, which is pretty simple actually. So we are taking our X apostrophe, multiplying it with one divided through W apostrophe, doing that with Y apostrophe as well. And then we get our center screen and our screen size. 
simply tanking our screen X, uh, which is the center point X. So screen X and Y are center and screen width and height are the full width and height. Uh, taking screen X, adding 0 0.5 to it, multiplying with X apostrophe, uh, multiplying with the screen width plus 0 0.5. Doing that for Y as well. And now we have X and Y converted to our screen space. So from the world, 3D world in game, we converted it to where it is on our screen. Now let's look at the drawing logic when we apply what we just learned uh, on creating ESP boxes or something like that. It doesn't matter what you draw next to the player, it's always using this uh, projection matrix. So we have this position right here, which is the player position, right here at the bottom. Game developers will know this, uh, or the look of this. Probably whoever does the map for CSGO knows that as well. So we need that uh, projected to our screen, as well as a head position or something approximately in this area. Uh, it doesn't have to be the head, you can use the head as a bone, or you can use what I used in the aimbot tutorial. And when we have these two things, we automatically have the height. The height is just position y apostrophe minus head y apostrophe. And keep in mind that we have the origin point zero at this point. Not right here, we have it here. This is important when we start drawing. Uh, yeah, don't forget about the width, we also have that, which is roughly about half um, divided by 2, at least for player models in CS. So let's get into the drawing. I should display this at first. Uh, we are going to start with this, then this, then this, then this. Uh, I chose this because of the calculations, which we'll see in a second. So. This part, we can use rectangles, I like to use rectangles, you can also use lines, so you could draw a line from here to here. Uh, yeah, as said, I like to use rectangles, it's less code writing. Um, let's say our function draw rectangle takes x, y, w and h, so here's what it means. and. For this point we give it x, y, because we're starting from here, we give it x, y for the width, left, right we give it the thickness, and I have just normal. Then we continue with the top line, which we give x, y, w and t. So x, we're giving it x like normal because it's right here. So the only difference we have is that we give it width to draw it here and thickness is the height. Continuing with the other one, right here we give it x plus width because 0 is here, we go here, so that's why we need its width or yeah, the player's width. And the rest is pretty much the same. And then the last part, um, this is the most complicated of, this, uh, of these things, where we give it the x, the y plus height, and width plus uh, thickness and thickness for the eye. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So like this we have a completed uh, ESP box drawn on our screen. And yeah, just to point out, keep in mind these are just as they are, about as they are, and the reason was what I pointed out, the origin point, it starts here, at this point, not in the center of the player model. So yeah, I think this is everything said, and once again, this can be applied regardless of whether you are internal, external, OpenGL, DirectX, when you draw something from 3D to 2D on your screen, it's about the same process. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching, hope you liked this tutorial and see you next time, peace out!